the pristine natural rainforest of the Central American country of Panama, the tiny land bridge that connects North America to South America. The biodiversity meeting here results in a dizzying array of wildlife. 904 different species of birds, 242 different species of reptile and 86 species of animal that aren't found anywhere else in the world. But it's a vanishing landscape and you have to go to ever-increasing lengths to witness it at first hand. After travelling for more than an hour and a half from the Pacific coast of Panama, research scientist Pedro Mendez and his assistant Alejandro Garrido are about to arrive at Cuiba National Park. The largest island in Central America, it is more than 50 square miles of almost untouched tropical rainforest and has been a World Heritage Site since 2005. OK, let's go. Pedro is here to monitor the island's population of howler monkeys, a species that is thought to be unique to the island. So if we are doing this every year, we have an idea how they are and what is the influence of the human in, in their, con their conservation. It's gruelling work. Every day, in the extreme heat and humidity of the rainforest, Pedro and Alejandro hike roughly one kilometre from their landing area into the jungle up to the highest point where they can set up their camp. And what we want to do is uh, get the elevations and uh, from our station uh, start to uh, recognize where are the places where they, there are groups of howlers. They normally uh, howl in the morning to delimit their territories. They uh, sub-territories they have, and in that way I can uh, count how many groups they are. And every morning, like clockwork, the dense jungle comes alive with the eerie calls of these rare monkeys. Haunting cries that drift over the morning canopy. But below, in the overgrown mesh of vegetation, the island hides some genuinely disturbing ghosts of the past. There was once a prison on Coiba, and during the reign of Panama's authoritarian dictator Manuel Noriega, it was a feared place with a reputation for brutal conditions and executions. Now it is just the bats that rule the roost in the cells, and outside in the ancient forest, the howler monkeys have reclaimed their title as king of this jungle. On the mainland, sadly, it is a very different situation. The Azuro Peninsula is almost completely deforested, and its indigenous species, the Azuro howler monkey, is critically endangered. The people started since 1521 to, to bring cows to this area in Panama because the, the landscape is so flat and uh, the area is uh, good to do farming activities and cattle ranches. So they exploded the land. And, uh, but we still have some uh, biodiversity here. To try and stem the tide, Pedro works with local volunteers like Urelis Gonzalez, a biology teacher who is keeping an eye on the monkey populations in her area and trying to persuade local farmers to use environmentally friendly techniques. Here is a good example of the fences that the people are using. On my right side you can see the living fences which is important for the monkeys and help them to cross between patches of forest, offering them fruits and also support. In my left side you can see the new technique that the people are using with no trees, use dead sticks which not offer anything for, for the, the monkeys and even for the people. 
It's a tough battle. These white-headed capuchin monkeys are extremely intelligent and can live for over 50 years. But on the mainland, they are hunted because they become adept at stealing crops. Even more critically endangered are these majestic spider monkeys. Pedro has calculated that there are now only 145 individuals left on the Azura Peninsula. That made me feel so sad. But for other way, I'm great. I'm, I'm glad I am. I have the opportunity to to do things for those animals. Um, thanks to the cooperation for the the people, the local people, and the the government in some way, and of course Oxford Brooks, which helped me also with my studies. With these skills and his passion and drive to search out, record and protect the last remaining populations of the endemic monkeys of his country, perhaps Pedro will be able to save them from an otherwise bleak future.